Hey there, need a date? <laughs> um, what the hell is going on? Should I get involved? Why are you murdering prostitutes and random bystanders? All right, I was just sightseeing, but I guess maybe I should be getting involved. I don't, they're not hostile to me, but they're hostile in general. So, uh, yeah, we'll just suddenly take you quietly. Uh, I lost humanity, but I think, uh, yeah. Did anyone see me do that? I don't know if anyone saw me do that. I did it for the greater good. He was, okay, the police are after me now. Yeah, too bad you couldn't have stopped them from randomly murdering people. Well, I feel like I was in the right here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Today we're going to go after a Russian mobster uh, gang leader. Uh, I don't think that's you. Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, <laughs> but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem, I just don't give a fuck. I like this guy, he's straightforward, he knows who he is. Do you sell counterfeit baseball jerseys? I don't know if I should put him down, but I'll inquire. Counterfeit? Man, I look like one of those peanut-headed, rock-smoking brothers selling S-H-A-C-K shirts they made at their mama's house. I'm the real deal OG man in the alley with what you need. Counterfeit. Wait, why you gotta be like that? <laughs> Sorry. Then, uh, why don't <laughs> show me- why don't you show me what you're selling? Nah, nah, that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Okay, well, show me what you got. Maybe later I'll have access to more advanced stuff. You've got an Ingram Mac 10. I already got three firearms. I picked up a Glock from one of those guys, those Russians. Ammo for my... Oh, oh, oh! Nope, no! Nope. The cops found me! The cops found me! I probably shouldn't have been dicking around. I'm dumping into the, I'm dumping into the sewers. No one will find me down here. Yes, the sewers are safe. Let's check out the sewer map here. Parking, public library, yeah, there's a couple of places we can go. All right, the police have given up. Time for me to get out of the sewers and resume what I was doing, yes. Uh, before the sudden interruption, uh, the plan was to take out a Russian mobster, Russian gang leader, oh, the legendary hovering sewer rat. I've heard of you. I won't tussle with you. You might be able to bite through my neck. But yes, a Russian mobster, Boris. We're going to be going after him and going after a bounty on Mike Durbin and maybe a couple of other things. Skyline Apartments is where Mike Durbin apparently is, so this is the place we're going to check first. We're going to do the bounty hunting mission first because that might be relatively simple. Mm -hmm. And hello, custodian officer guy. Nothing to say to me. You don't mind if I go in the employee's only room, do you? Oh, he minds. He minds. You know, no, no... No escalation of force, no verbal warning, just pull out your gun and start shooting me. It's like he wanted to shoot me immediately. Well, apparently I've got this gun and I'm going to use it. I don't have any ammo for it, never mind. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Can we, can we not? Can we not? Uh, I lost a little bit of humanity, but it was self-defense. He pulled a gun and knife on me, so... That's his fault. I can't really teabag in this game, but yeah, that's right. You better mysteriously vanish, punk. So apparently there's something down here, otherwise he wouldn't have been so hostile immediately. What what secrets are you hiding? What, what am I not supposed to see? Hmm? Or maybe he was just general security and he just loves shooting people. Wouldn't surprise me. Apartment 2, Sean Milton. He's a slob and he has never really had any chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. So, apparently, uh, Apartment 2 has a new resident. That might be Mike Durbin, who I'm looking for. Let's check the other apartment notes. Yeah, we'll see if we can find out where he's staying. Georgia Welch, the rich abroad is pretty hot. Password is 9648. <laughs> Sneak in there and steal some panties to auction offline, maybe. Or I could just break in and steal a purse or something, who knows. Vacant, apartment four, if you say so. So it sounds like apartment two might be where Mike Durbin is staying. Alternatively, apartment four should be vacant. Maybe he 
broken and is staying at a vacant apartment. Probably an apartment two, that's my guess, but possible to be an apartment four. And apartment three I could break into if I wanted to... Yeah, apartment four is scratched out because it's apparently vacant. But I could break into apartment three and steal some money, but apartment two is probably where I'm headed. Mm-hmm, apartment two, knock knock. Oh, all right, I could just break right in, that's fine too, I guess. Lockpicking difficulty of five, time for blood buff. And now we lockpick. Uh, we probably should knock first, but whatever. Lockpick, walk right in like we own the place. Nobody's home. Darts, pizza, answering machine. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, so they went to an underpass, which is, I guess, where I'm heading. Once I raid the fridge and poke around and see if there's anything I can steal. Looks like not really. No, fridge is empty. Then I should probably head out. Ow, ow, uh, apparently they found out about what I did. Ow, no, no, it's not my fault. It was self-defense. Leave me alone, please. Stop shooting. No, it's self-defense. I was it was within my right to defend myself. And the police have given up, so... To the underpass we now go. Hello, officer. You have no idea who I am, right? He's shaking his head no, because he's never seen me before. So anyway, we were interrupted earlier. Hey, don't walk on by. Yeah. Let's talk. Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? I do have a lot of garbage in my inventory. Well, 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 uh, that's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little actions all, all right? Show me what you got. Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a super-sized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? I, mmm, you've got my attention. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? Uh, it sounds risky, but I might be able to get... I, I might be able to do it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type... I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? I was actually planning on maybe sneaking over there, but show me what you got. And some heavy clothing. Hey, I like that. Let's buy that. There we go. Not looking too bad. What, what is my character doing? He's crouching. I'm not sure what he's doing, but yeah, some nice heavy clothing. Looks nice. There we go. Should offer me a little more damage resistance when I inevitably get into a tussle. So, uh, we might be able to drop in on that. I'm still looking for where Durbin went. Where did Mike Durbin go? Across from a bar, I heard. Down here, maybe? Hello? Not talkative. I have no idea where the person I'm looking for is. Well, I guess we can check out whatever building this is. Might be something in here. I honestly have no idea where I am, though. So, stealth mode... Body strung up. <coughs> oh, brother. Yeah, it's uh, pretty brutal. Oh, kind of reminds me of those killings on the pier. Hey, what the heck's going on? <laughs> Did you see it? Are you talking about crab nibble? Crab nibble, crab nibble. These two guys, this guy and another, uh, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. So, what were they doing? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So, the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. The killer? Who showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Oh, you're lucky you didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. 
the, the dead guy went white. He seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. And what did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. But just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. <laughs> and did the other guy eventually come back? No, he never come back. Hmm. Did you happen to catch his name? A dead fella called him Muddy. That sounds about right. Thank you. So, Muddy. Muddy did this. Muddy was involved. Mike Muddy Durbin, I believe. Yeah, Muddy was his code name. So, it looks like Mike set this guy up to die, if I'm reading the scenario correctly. Maybe I'm not. Alright, so. Lucky Starroom Key was on this corpse. Uh, okay, apparently Muddy put you here. Muddy is the one who killed you. Was Muddy staying with somebody else and he betrayed the person who was letting him stay with him? Or, uh, car stereo. I found a car stereo. That's probably not relevant to my mission right now, but I guess maybe I'll be able to sell that. I don't like those ropes hanging down. Reminds me of those things from Half-Life 2 where if you accidentally touch them, you get pulled up and get eaten by a monster. But, no, they're just ropes. So... We've got a lead. We can follow up on it, I guess. We have the star room key. Let's see where it can be used. I don't see any place around here called the Lucky Star, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the previous hub world either. So Lucky Star, I, I, don't, I don't know. It might not. I might not be able to complete this quest. This bounty hunting quest might take me through every hub world in the game. Because there's no place called the Lucky Hotel in the area. Well, there's a hotel here, but I don't think that's the Lucky Star Hotel. I suppose it's worth checking out. Sure, why not? No, nope, can't go in. Can't, this is not the Lucky Star Hotel. I cannot go inside. So, I guess uh, there's the Hallowbrook Hotel. Man, I can, there's a lot of hotels in the area, but not the one I'm looking for. So, right now, I've got three quests I'm in the middle of doing. Finding Mike Durbin, who is at the Lucky Star Motel, where I, I don't know where he went, but apparently he's the guy who's been killing people and slashing them up, and well, I guess it's possible he's a copycat criminal, but I suspect Mike Durbin might be the culprit, and I don't know where the Lucky Star Motel is, so we're going to have to put that one on hold. We can talk to Prince LaCroix, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, yeah, Fat Larry wants us to get a briefcase so we'll try and do that now and then we'll go talk to Boris who's at the Empire Arms Hotel the, the mob boss it's that might be a bit difficult so we'll quickly just try and grab this briefcase and head on out and this is the parking garage hello nothing to say to me then I'll just head right down I'm gonna try and be sneaky about this try and steal this suitcase quietly don't know if that's gonna be possible Stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. It's kind of working. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this stealthily. Fork. Uh, can't get back up. Nope. All right. Now I'm in combat. Whether I like it or not, I'm in combat. Very well. We're just going to uh, do a bit of... Uh, Come on, fortitude. And now we're just going to tear you all apart with a severed hand. Why not? <laughs> okay, we got some moves. I, I am I'm swarmed. I am just surrounded by a thousand enemies. I'm dead. It's a good thing I saved before I came down here because I knew I'd screw it up. Let's try again. Do that. And then we'll... Ugh. Okay, we'll try it a third time since apparently I'm not stealthy at all. Third time is the charm. Come on! How are you psychic, you idiot? You know, I'm just going to execute people. I'm going to wait for them to come around the corner and execute them. It's probably faster than trying to use stealth. The game encouraged me to use stealth, and then it screws me over when I try to use stealth. So screw it. Run and gun. Murder everybody. That's right. Come around the corner, and I'll shoot you dead. Eventually. Yeah, that baseball bat. Real intimidating. And this guy right here. I want to devour him, because I need that blood. I need that blood. But the moment I go up to him, everyone is going to be alerted, so... I'll just put you down. I want to feed on this guy. Feed. Or don't feed. Now, of course, everyone's psychic in this game. I get two feet behind them and they know I'm there. They got eyes in the back of their head. Combat feed! Combat feed! 
There we go, yes. <laughs> and use him as a meat shield in the... <laughs> Why not? Okay. There we go. I got my blood back and that's all that really matters. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother using stealth in this area. These guys just, uh, they don't, they don't seem to be receptive to stealth. You're standing on top of the vehicle to get away from me, but it's not gonna last you. You're down, and I think you got a friend. Oh, you've got two friends left. Okay. That's fine. I, I can take a couple of shots. It's fine. They're no big deal. Oh. Uh, come on. Feed on them. Get that blood energy back. Mmm, yes. And further down we go. Seeing if we can find a few more victims. I would really love to do stealth, but killing people is just so much easier. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Killing them is easier. Oh, no. That ooh. Okay, I take it back. That Uzi's making things a, a little more difficult. Ow! I'm gonna fortitude. Ouch! Ouch! Fortitude don't help me too much when I keep taking this much. Stop! Stop! Go! Run! Fortitude is useless! Fortitude cannot protect me from these bullets! I'm gonna wait for him to get around the corner and then... Munchy Munchy! Get my strength back! Ow! Come on! Oh, come on! You're breaking my balls here! I can't feed while you're stabbing me, so one of you needs to drop. Preferably the one that's got the less amount of blood. Can you stop, please? Can, come on, this ain't a fair fight, two on one. Don't be a dick about it. Stop chasing me back to the load screen. I want to go back to the load screen. Get out of here, punk. The only thing I'm sad about is the fact that this has actually cost me... Qu oh, God, Uzi guy again. Yeah, I'm down on a couple of bullets. Uh, yeah, one of you can come around the corner. And, uh, preferably, the Uzi guy can stay there, and I'll get him later. Here's my plan. Nightwind Ravens on you. Stabby stab you to death. And, yeah, there we go. You're dead, and now I will... Oh, oh, a third one? Really? Come on. You don't need to get a third one here. Unless he was just pretending to be dead and got back up. I don't know. He's done. You're all done. Is that the last one? Oh, God, there's still two more, really? God, there's a lot of you guys, huh? Really obnoxious. Very well. Nightwind Raven's on you. Oh, my God, there's so many of you guys. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Nope, bye. Raven's on you. And murder you silently. Mmm, love that. And, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Sure, yeah, you just happen to wake up at the exact moment. And the exact moment to die. Thank you. And we'll blood heal because you used a lot of my health. I know you're not, you're not the last of them, so I gotta kill a few more. Come on, I need to, I need that energy back. I need to grab him and drain him of his blood. Thank you. God, the combat got really obnoxious real fast. Get out of here. I'm done with your corpse. Hopefully there aren't any more of you. Jeez, that was annoying. Ah, oh, there's more of you. God, of course there is. Of course there is. Well, very well. The Night Wisp Ravens have gotten me through worse situations. Yes, yes. Come on, grab him, eat him. Stop getting kicked in the face and kill him, please. Come on. Come on, how are you missing? Grab him, eat him. Well, you know what? You deserve that death. You didn't obey my commands. You deserve to be murdered. And down to the third level. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna freeze. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just gonna just rampage, going on a rampage, killing everybody in my way. Stop it. Stop it. You're, you're really obnoxious. Oh my god, come on. I need the grenade. I need that grenade. Jesus. And so Mike killed literally a hundred enemies down in a parking garage. God, they are so annoying. He ate most of them, knifed some, shot a few in the face. Not that that did anything because they keep shrugging off bullet wounds to the face. And then he finally reached the end after eating a lot of people. Uh, what? Okay, apparently you can trigger them to have friendly fire. I guess if they, uh, or maybe this guy's on my team. Okay. Uh, okay. Got this guy here and he's helping me out. Hey, okay, this guy is also on my team. I apparently have allies I've got allies apparently um, or I have no idea I think there's three different gangs here we got the red heads over there and we got the red backs the the jacket guys here 
And then we got the guys I was killing, the mafiosos down here. And you know what? I don't care how many of you die. I, I think this is good. This is a good thing. Oh, oh, we got a couple more. Hey, uh... Yeah, okay, that guy doesn't care about this guy then. What about you? Are you my enemy? I have no idea if you're actually my enemy or not. I think you are, so... I'm, I'm gonna try and knife you, but... If you want to run away, that's fine too. Whatever. I don't care. Ow. Come. No. Ow. Eat. I'm just gonna drink your blood. I need that health. Thank you for shooting me. This is your comeuppance. Who else is shooting at me? If you were shooting at this gang member, I forgive you, but if you're shooting at me, I'm about to kill you. So I ate a lot of people, including the guys who were holding onto briefcases, but... Still haven't advanced the quest, so I'm gonna keep on going down. There's a lot of floors in this parking garage, and a lot of people for me to eat. And, oh god, I'm so full of people, but... People gotta get eaten, and who else is gonna do it? What about this? I found a briefcase! Alright, I have Larry's briefcase. There we go. I think we'll call that a success. Let's just get the heck out of here. Yeesh. Hey, how's it going? You're not being hostile to me. Oh, you are. That's a shame. I thought maybe you wanted to live, but I guess not. Hey, Fat Larry, got good news. Partner. Yeah, I got the briefcase. Outstanding. Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after him. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Ooh. Then I'm gonna get me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You wanna come? My treat. That is a lot of beef. I have trouble putting away an 8-ouncer. But hey, leftovers, sure. Oh, I guess I have to pass because I'm unavailable during the day. That's too bad. I'll take my steak to go, I guess. No. That was a really difficult mission, by the way, killing all of those guys to get that briefcase. I hope I never have to experience combat like that ever again. Now, if you don't mind, I'm off to attack the head of the Russian Mafia. Goodbye! Ah, uh, the Empire Arms Hotel. That's exactly where I need to go. Pardon me. Just walk on right in and assassinate the head of the Russian Mafia like it's no big deal. Now, I know it says employees only, so I'm going to quick slave right here and access the computer. Let's see. Guest logs. Hack into this computer right quick. Yes? No. No, it doesn't look like I can hack this one. My skill is too low. Guess I'm going to have to find him the hard way. Oh, wait. If someone needs a spare key card, check the computer for the name of the suite first. Use the password WEALTH. Oh, okay. Then I guess I have the password. Ah, the Buffalo Suite on the sixth floor is occupied by Boris che Chekhov. Booked indefinitely. Then the sixth floor, Buffalo Suite, is where I want to go. Okay, just have to figure out how to get in there. It's probably locked somehow, but... Maybe I can find a way in. Mm-hmm. Ooh. What a nice little area we have here. Anybody worth talking to around here? Looks like the answer is no. Nobody wants to talk to me. Very well. I need to find the elevator to the sixth floor. Employees only this area as well. What's in this area? Well, a knife. I don't really need that. In case of fire use, stairway. Okay, so here we go. Up to the sixth floor. Well, okay, I'm on the sixth floor right now, and I've walked around the entire floor, and I found a couple of, I assume, enemies, but they're not hostile or shooting me or doing much of anything. Walking around, talking, patrolling. I haven't been able to find Boris on this floor. Uh, room two? Is your boss Boris in here? Uh, he doesn't mind that I'm here, and that's cool. Apparently Boris is not in room two, wasn't in room one. I don't know where this vent is gonna go. Oh, maintenance room. So, I guess try, is there a room three around here? Oh, you look different than the other stooges. Let's talk. Hasta la vis. Who the hell are you? Uh, bonjour, I'm here to speak to Boris. You are not expected. 
Uh, how do I want to lie to this guy? He didn't tell you I was coming? That's very strange. You got 10 seconds to leave, then I blow fucking head off. Oh no, don't blow fucking- Oh, that's not 10 seconds! Are Russian seconds shorter than English seconds? Rude. Very rude. I'm probably gonna have to fight my way out of here now, aren't I? Good, great. Hey, let's talk. Okay, let's not talk. Let's just murder you. Fine. Fine. I didn't want it to come to this. I didn't want to have to do this. Mainly because I didn't suspect I'd be able to survive combat. Mainly. Yep. Come on, eat somebody or die. Dying is an option too. Failing to grab somebody and dying is an option. Not one I would have personally chosen though. Hasta la vis. Who the hell are you? I'm hotel security. Open the door. Okay, that didn't work either. I just have no way of bluffing my way in, so combat it is. Combat it shall be. Ow. Ow. I'm just gonna try and close the door, but nope. We got these guys in my way. Very well. I died. Yay again. Yay. Hooray. Who the hell are you? I'm here to see Boris. You are not expected. I'm with maintenance. Your pipes are leaking. You got 10 seconds to leave, then I bluff. <laughs> How about this? Does this constitute leaving? I'm leaving you high and dry with no blood left. Ah, uh, unfortunately it still triggered combat, so uh... Gr oh god, I'm not getting out of here with my freaking life. How am I supposed to do this? I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to do this! I, I, I have to fight like a thousand guys now. It's ridiculous. It doesn't help that my character completely fails to bite anybody anytime I try. I am so screwed here. I'm not even about talking to you this time around. I'm just gonna straight up murder you. Uh... Was that the best option? Really? <laughs> really? Alright. Let's talk to Boris now, shall we? My character is moving on his own. Shut was me! What the hell do you think you're doing? I am talking to Boris! Venus sent me. Is that right? Yes, it is. She said that she wants the club. Malin Caius Folach, stupid, spoiled American child. I give her so much and she spits in my face. She believes she has more than paid for it. So, what, you are her messenger boy? You do work for stupid little girl? You are not man. Hey, I do whatever work gets me paid. Hand over the deed. You will get nothing from me. Go tell that bitch she can pack up Little Club. Her name is coming off it. Get the hell out of here. Pashli, go. Okay, I will go tell her. Yup, this is me going right now. Yeah, what do you think was gonna happen, you idiot? <laughs> I love how murdering people is the best solution to a lot of these quests. <laughs> Hello, does everybody here have psychic powers? They know that their boss was just murdered? Hmm? Nope. <laughs> nope, they are none the wiser because I did that completely silently. Well, that was great. <laughs> After a couple of trial and error runs there, I very easily dispatched Boris and solved that quest. What a busy day it's been. Oh, there's no turnstile here. There was a turnstile, right? It's gone now. Nice, excellent. So we murdered a bunch of people for Larry and then we murdered a bunch of people for... Uh, this lady here, I hope she appreciates it. Sure. There you are. Nice Finished yet. Huh? Indeed I am. Let's talk in your office. What? Your office. Boris. He's dead. That Boris is blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? Oh, I do love money every once in a while. And I had some suggestions for the club if you're receptive. Really, I'd love to hear them, but I've got to go find a new DJ. Our old one's still spinning that pixie wave magic 80s redux electronica. So last Friday. Heaps of thanks again. Well, I guess you have more experience running this place than I do. You know what's best. My pleasure. Okay, that was rough. But we figured out the best solution. Yeah, we've taken care of Boris, we've taken care of Larry's problem. We've done a lot of problem solving today. We're problem solvers, and it feels good to solve these problems. <laughs> yeah, just to keep this place open. I feel like that was a good cause. 
I'm still looking for Mike Mud Durbin. He was nowhere to be found, but we found the key to the Lucky Star Hotel. Probably in Hollywood or something, a different area of the map. Explosive beginning. That's the plot critical mission I need to be doing eventually. But first, I think we're going to stop by the pub. The last chance or the last rhythm. Whatever it was. The name of that pub. Because that guy who saved our life is there and said to meet him for a drink. So we'll do that. See if he's got some quests for us. And then eventually we'll start making our way over to the plot critical mission. But until next time, my name is Mike and this has been the highly enjoyable Vampire the Bloodline Masquerade. Thank you for joining me.